My name is Amy, and today we're going to be completing the water and soil experiment from lesson six in the Water in Our World Science Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. For this experiment, we need two cookie sheets, some parchment paper, a spray bottle, a small rock, and five paper cups with dry sand, wet sand, dry dirt, mud, and mud mixed with weeds. We're going to see how water can shape the land. First, we're going to start with our dry sand and wet sand by dumping out each cup on this cookie sheet. Then on this cookie sheet, we will dump out the three cups of dirt, dry, wet, and wet with weeds. Let's start with the sand tray. I'm gonna take this spray bottle and set it to the mist setting. Now I'm gonna start spraying back and forth between the two piles of sand. Watch what happens as more and more water is sprayed on these two piles. Which pile of sand absorbed the water and which pile caused the water to run down and collect around it? You can see that the dry sand absorbed a lot of water, but the wet sand did not. Why do you think that happened? The wet sand already contains a lot of water, so it does not have room to absorb much of the water we sprayed. This causes it to run off and pool around it a lot quicker than the other sand. Does the water change the shape of the sand structures? Okay, now I'm gonna place this rock on top of the pile. What happens when the water is sprayed on the rock and the sand? See how the water drips down the sides of the rock onto the sand below. Does some of the sand run down the sides of the structure and collect at the bottom? What do you think this is called? That's right, it's erosion. Which pieces of sand run off the sand mound first? The larger pieces of sand or the smaller pieces? The smaller pieces are more easily moved by the flow of water as they are lighter and easier to move. All right, now we're going to do the same thing to our second tray here. Do you think the dirt and mud will react the same way to the water as the sand did? Let's find out. Which pile absorbed the water the best? The dry dirt, that's right, why? It could absorb more of the water. Did the water change the shape of our piles? And did the mud or the mud with weeds change the most? Why do you think that is? Be sure to check out these open and go homeschool science units and many more on goodandbeautiful.com. Also, download our free marine biology unit today.